I feel like every year I say next year, that's the year when video games come back to life, and then this comes out. But this year, 2023, this is the one, everybody. Tekken 8! As long as Kuma is a playable character, then I like Tekken 8. What I really want to see from this and Street Fighter 6 and every other fighting game is a satisfying single player mode. Fighting games today are extremely disposable. Once the online community is gone, these games cease to exist. Soul Calibur, Guilty Gear, Tekken 7, Mortal Kombat, the single player for these games is people talking. How do you know about that? Like, what the fuck are we doing out here? Most fighting games already have the components needed for a great single player game. They just need to structure them in a more exciting way. Hollow Knight, Silk Song, and Hades 2 are coming up. Both great action games that I want to see get the Doom Eternal treatment. From the makers of Celeste, we got Earthblade and Mina the Hollower from the makers of Shovel Knight. I played the demo for this. It's like a Game Boy Zelda meets Castlevania. Pepper Grinder is finally coming out. I remember talking about this one years ago. And it's looking a lot fancier now than when I first played it. Animal World. Oh, hey, I know this one. I'm really excited for Animal World. The whole reason we wanted to publish it is because it's such a left field game. It's the only game in this video without combat, and I think people are really gonna like the animals. Two weeks ago, Nintendo sneaked out Metroid Prime Remastered. They really knocked it out of the park with the visuals, and it's running at 60 FPS on the Nintendo Switch. If you're looking for intense boss fights and great combat, play Metroid Dread. Metroid Prime is more about mood and atmosphere and backtracking. Lots of backtracking. Those opening moments when you step onto Talon 4, the waterfalls and fauna, the alien creatures, the rain splashing under your cannon and dripping off your visor. And the graphics. That's, you know, that's really what this is all about. And underlining all of it is that haunting, beautiful soundtrack. If Prime 4 looks and sounds like this, Metroid fans are going to be living very large. Final Fantasy 16 is coming out this summer. This will be the first Final Fantasy where you can actually marry a chocobo. Spider-Man 2 is Sony's big game this year. Hopefully they'll be able to bring back the pizza mini game with this one. We could also potentially see Big Wheel as one of the main villains. Big name horror remakes coming up with Resident Evil 4 and Silent Hill 2. There is nobody in life more evil than the guy who says, Resident Evil 4. I always laugh when he says that. I think it's when he goes, four. It's like, damn, we're really on number four already? Resident Evil, the Mercenaries 3D. Resident Evil 4 is the most famous of all Resident Evils, okay? It was the first game to reinvent the series, and it's still a really solid shooter. If I was betting money, I'd say Resident Evil 4 will be the better game, but I'm more excited for the Silent Hill 2 remake because I have no idea what a modernized version of that would play like. Most of that game is walking around, looking at your map, and picking stuff off the floor. Like, how, how do you update that? Will they turn it into another zombie shooting game? What about the funny pizza guy? Is he still gonna go, and most importantly, will there still be the dog ending? Death Stranding 2 was officially announced at Jeff Keighley's house, but unofficially it was announced like three times by Norman Reedus because he kept leaking it. When I first reviewed Death Stranding, I hoped it would be the last strand type game. But looking back, really I hope it'll be the worst strand type game. Stealth, combat, boss fights, huge cutscenes. I say leave all that behind with Metal Gear Solid and make Death Stranding 2 the ultimate package delivering game. That's what makes Death Stranding new. That's the part of the game I enjoyed the most, they won't do that, but that's what I would like. Pikmin for now we're talking. With every game, Pikmin grows stronger, okay? I love Pikmin 3. It has such a unique, fluctuating tempo of hectic micromanagement and downbeat exploration. I love the sound effects, the music, the creatures, the fruits, and the treasures. There is no other game like it, and I will never get tired of parading an army of 100 Pikmin around on the screen. And now they got this guy? Ochi? Who is a funny doggy? This game will be a masterpiece. Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in two months, and I feel like Nintendo hasn't even started marketing it yet. You can rewind time, maybe you build vehicles like Banjo Nuts and Bolts. I remember trying to make a boat in the last one, and it didn't pan out for me. Uh, maybe it's still. 
Expectations for this game are stratospheric, but time does not stand still for open world games. Red Dead 2 is still the most detailed open world with an incredible storyline and cast of characters. Death Stranding has that super molded geometry. Cyberpunk has cutting edge bugs and glitches. Elden Ring was like an all you can eat buffet of amazing enemies and boss fights. Zelda has been surpassed in many ways, but is still more open ended and malleable than any of the games I've listed, and I hope those are the elements they expand on. So, yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming out this year but wait there's one more armored core 6 from software is already hitting us with a whole new robot game do you guys remember this video funny birds have a sword fight with their beaks raffle most of the video was footage of trains and people were like donkey what the fuck is this this is the kind of reaction i think people will have to armored core 6 people will be furious but the true fans know that armored core is just a practice run for the game that from software actually wants to make Metal Wolf Chaos 2.